They're a length and a half clear from Mickey Tuto, shading new time and back a clear last Peninci. Leaving the riverside of the track, 500 from home and Kenosha brings them up to the turn three quarters clear of Longmar Detection going up three wide, searching for run Warprints right behind the heels of the leader coming into the corner and then a length and a half to Mickey Tuto's by the 250. Longmar raced alongside of Kenosha Detection still no run Warprints, here's Mickey Tuto's down the outside. Kenosha fights hard though, with 100 to go she beats off Longmar, Mickey Tutos gunning it out, Warprints getting a late split Mickey Tutos came at Kenosha, Kenosha clung on. Kenosha. Jason, what an honest performance by her, she was able to find the front quite comfortably with that light weight but there, she was asked plenty of questions throughout the run Yeah, look, they served it up to her coming to the corner, um, but look, she done it yeah, like say, lightweight um, got a good, le uh, he rated her really well in front and yeah, she done the job you and your team deserve so much credit. We know how well you've gone for so many years, but this mare, we, Adam has mentioned, has had the feet issue. We saw the bar plates go on. You've made it that she gets a bit of rest between runs, and it's a recipe for success at the moment with three in a row. Yeah, look, you look at all her form. I think she's had ten starts now for nine checks, you know, so she doesn't know how to run a bad race. But, yeah, we've had niggly little problems with her. And um, she's overcome them, and uh, she's back in, and she's still holding her form. The courage of her late as well. Obviously, we saw Mickey Tutos coming, but she never wanted to give that in. Had that fight and that audacity late. Yeah, look, she looked, I reckon, 100 out um, that she was, you know, needed to just find that little bit and she did, you know. It was either she was going to just pull up or find and dig deep and she did. What about the ride of Clint Johnson-Porter as well? I think I heard Darren allude to it that it was, it was always Pike like there coming down to line with him. The way he stretches that neck out, his timing has improved uh, so well and we know that in a photo finish he's very good at making sure the head's down at the right time. Yeah, well, look, he's one of the uh, up and ups on the way. The way he's riding, he's improving every every time he goes out there. And look, he's going to um, look. He's uh, right up there in the top riders at the moment. You know, he's riding with plenty of confidence, and he's going to he's going to take the next step and make a good leading rider. Credit to you and the team with the win there, mate. Congratulations. Thank you. Order now as well, and Clint, uh, a really good rider. Were you nervous at any stage down the straight? Yeah, I did. Um, when they started levelling up with me, I thought, oh. Come on, little girl, show us what you've got. And she did, she put in, fight hard all the way to the line and um, got the bob in. Did you believe that she had that fight? You've obviously won on her in the recent runs, but did you think when they came up so quickly that you might be in trouble? Yeah, definitely. She, um, her last few runs, I've had it pretty easy. I've got there and she's just rocketed out the ground. Today when they put pressure on her, I'm going, oh, it was just a toss up and she put a hole in. We mentioned to you early on, I think we're going back to maybe when Ultimate Success won at Belmont and we alluded that it was almost a pike-like finish with the way you were able to push the neck down and you didn't hide away from the fact that it's something you've looked at and that you wanted to replicate. You saw Pike on the outside of you there, you did it, you got the photo, you must have been happy with the result and the way it's all progressing. Yeah, it was beautiful. Um, at the time I didn't actually think I got it, um, I just laid down on her head and she got it low. Beautiful is a good word to summarise mate, well done. Yeah, thank you.